A phobia is an irrational fear of a particular object, animal, or situation even though one knows that one would not normally be afraid of it. In general, for a condition to be considered a phobia, it must last for at least a few months. Phobias can be trauma-induced or genetic. There are many types of phobias worldwide. The 10 most common phobias are as follows. Agoraphobia. This phobia is the inability to feel safe in environments outside the home and the fear of public places or crowds. This phobia is also related to the fear of experiencing panic attacks. The person may avoid leaving the house because of the fear of not getting help or feeling embarrassed if they have a panic attack. Acrophobia. This phobia is a fear of heights. When the person stands or looks at a high place, they may experience symptoms such as dizziness, nausea, sweating, palpitations. This phobia is related to a person's fear of falling or being harmed from heights. Arachnophobia. This phobia is a fear of spiders, scorpions, and other arthropods. When a person sees or touches these animals, they may feel fear, disgust, or revulsion. This phobia is also associated with the fear of being bitten, stung, or poisoned by these animals. Astrophobia. This phobia is the fear of natural phenomena such as lightning, thunder, tornadoes, and storms. When faced with such events, the person may experience feelings of panic, fear, and anxiety. This phobia is also associated with the fear that these events will harm oneself or one's loved ones. Claustrophobia. This phobia is the inability to feel comfortable in enclosed spaces. People with claustrophobia are afraid of being confined in places such as elevators, tunnels, cabins, closets, and toilets. However, in some people it can also occur in larger and crowded places such as subways and airplanes. When the person is usually in a confined space, they may experience symptoms such as shortness of breath, suffocation, and fainting. This phobia is related to the fear of being trapped in a confined space or not being able to escape. Sociophobia. This phobia is associated with the inability to feel comfortable in social situations and the fear of talking to people, meeting people, making presentations. When the person participates in a social event, they may experience feelings such as averting their eyes, embarrassment, fear of rejection, and criticism. This phobia is also associated with the fear that one's social skills are inadequate or will be evaluated negatively by others. Microphobia. This phobia is the fear of bacteria and germs. The person avoids objects or situations where bacteria and germs can be transmitted. For example, shaking hands, using the toilet, eating, going shopping, and visiting hospitals. This phobia is associated with the fear that bacteria and germs will bring illness or death to themselves or their loved ones. These people may also exhibit behaviors such as intensive cleaning and less going out. Necrophobia. This phobia is a fear of dead people or objects or situations related to death. When the person encounters things like cemeteries, coffins, funerals, news of death, etc., they may feel feelings of fear, sadness, and depression. This phobia is also associated with fears about the meaning, aftermath, or inevitability of death. This phobia may have developed as a result of a trauma related to death or the death of someone. Ophidiophobia. This phobia is a person's fear of snakes. When a person sees or touches snakes, they may feel fear, disgust, or revulsion. This phobia is associated with a person's fear of being bitten, stung, or poisoned by snakes. Zoophobia. This phobia is a more general fear of animals. This fear may involve all animals or a specific part of them. In other words, it is a phobia that varies from person to person. When a person sees or touches animals, they may feel fear or disgust. This phobia is also associated with the fear of being bitten, stung, or attacked by animals. These are the most common phobias in people around the world. However, there are also many other types of phobias. It is also possible to have more than one phobia. In the case of phobias, it is usually possible to see similar thoughts and behaviors. In moments of phobia, some behaviors can be very extreme. For example, climbing on the table, running away, shouting. On the contrary, some behaviors may appear as if there is no problem. In these moments, people can usually try to suppress their fears and continue with their routines. Here are some common symptoms that people with phobias usually show. Feeling intense fear, anxiety, or panic when encountering or thinking about the feared object or situation. Avoidance of the feared object or situation or excessive effort to endure it. Fear is out of proportion to the actual danger. Fear persists for six months or more. Fear has a negative impact on daily life, work, school, or social relationships. Finally, experiencing physical symptoms when faced with fear. 
For example, palpitations, sweating, trembling, shortness of breath, nausea, dizziness, fainting, etc. Psychotherapy and medication are usually used to treat phobias. Psychotherapy tries to find the source and meaning of the person's fear, confront it, and develop ways of coping with it. Cognitive behavioral therapy is the most effective psychotherapy method for phobias. CBT involves changing the thoughts and beliefs that cause fear and gradually confronting the feared object or situation. Medication is usually antidepressants and anxiolytics. Medication can be used in addition to psychotherapy or in cases where psychotherapy is not appropriate. The treatment of phobias depends on the type and severity of the fear and the individual's personal characteristics. It is important to cooperate with the doctor and therapist during the treatment process. Finally, please note that the information in this video is based on reading and experience only. None of it contains doctor's advice. If you have any doubts about yourself or your loved one, please consult a doctor. I hope this was not a triggering content for you. You can subscribe to see more content. You can comment and share the video to support the channel and share your thoughts. See you in the next video.